Hello and welcome. Today we're checking out Drake Hollow. It's been developed by the Molasses Flood, who is sponsoring this video. Thanks, Molasses Flood. Uh, it's a sort of base buildy survival, even like open world and, and even a little bit of colony sim thrown in there. Where we're going to be entering this world here. We'll get an opening story to explain this all better. Uh, but uh, this sort of realm with vegetable people and feral beasts and, and building of villages and, and all that's kind of blended and thrown in here. Um, Again, there's an intro story. It'll explain all that better than I can. So, but first, we have to make our character. We're going to be running around this this world, third person kind of point of view, and and uh, and help you know help these vegetable folks out. And we got to look good doing it. So let's look like uh, we can randomize, it, I suppose. But we can change all kinds of things here if we want to uh, to build our guy. But let's just randomize it and see what we can get. How about um, mm, Fabio? How about uh, let's let's fix the hair, eh, buddy? Yeah, so that's a little better. That's a little better. And, um, yeah, yeah, okay. That's that's good. Um, I'm okay with, with all that. Clothing, though, so let's go with uh, something a little more... Oh, yeah, that one right there. Perfect. And pants. Fix the holes in your pants, buddy. No, no loafers. Go with the fancy boots and a nice backpack. Okay, I'm up for that. I accept. All right, new game. Go with the campaign. There's no sandbox in the game just yet. But we get a bit of a story. Same as the worst. Okay. Just like real life, you see a crow with glowing green eyes. You follow it. Hey, kid, he says. Uh, not only does crow have green eyes, but it also uh, talks. Let's just follow this guy and see where he wants us to go. A different path for you, eh? Okay. Okay. Let's venture on over this way. So it has this kind of third person, you know, run around, pick things up, and, and go back, craft up a base, basically, is what's going to be happening here. We'll get to all this. Uh, and uh, sort of explore the world. It's very open-worldy, run around, you know, find things, that kind of thing. Hey, kid, look! I spin sense to find someone, and I think you are it. The door I'm sitting on? I'm gonna need you to walk through it. It's not strictly speaking a normal spooky door in the woods. Really more of a portal. Some folks on either side could really use your help. Can't force you to step through. You gotta do that on your own, but I'd appreciate you deciding fast. My great brain's getting foggier the longer I'm on this side. Not gonna be able to stick around much longer. I gotta warn you, this could be a one-way trip. No telling when you might get back. It's gonna be dangerous. Up for an adventure? Step on in. I, am I? Yeah. First lesson in life. You see a crow that talks to you with green eyes? You follow it. Especially if he calls himself the wise crow. The crow's a jerk. I don't want to talk to you anymore, Sam. Welcome to the world of Drake Hollow. Where there's there's mushrooms. And more mushrooms. That's where we came through, isn't it? Let's we'll not go there. Let's let's continue on our, uh, our on our way here. This way. Let's just run this way. Pick up some mushrooms along the along the way. Oops, missed that one. Ooh, spooky. Okay. Hey crow! Oh you made it! It's much better. My head was fogging up something awful. No offense, but I hate crossing over. I'm being honest. I wasn't sure you'd cross. I've been starting to lose hope. Seems like it's uh, in short supply everywhere these days. Welcome to the Hollow. Seen better days, I'm afraid, but that's kind of why you're here. Follow me. I'll clarify. Okay. I'm going to have a chat with whoever made this bridge. It's a little, a little rickety. A little wonky. 
Jump. Brought you here as a request of an old friend. Someone from your side of the hedge from way back. Probably best if you just heard it from her directly. She left me this note. Dear Wise Crow, well, I know how to help you and the Drakes. You need to find a warrior, strong of will and body. Sensitive to animals? Look for them when the hedge is thin. Bring them back to, uh, to finish what I am too frail to accomplish. They must work in the, with the Drakes to build their power and seek out my effects. Hidden from the ter Terminer. Find them. It's the only way to save the Hollow. Your friend, or yours, Sarah Howe. So here we are. You've got that youthful vigor we need. The hedge was thin, and as evidenced by this here conversation, he got the gift of animal whispering. Come on, I got something I'd like you to try, and some folks I think you should meet. Hey. Are they vegetable people? I think I'd like to meet some vegetable people. Spooky house again? Ah, okay. Down we go. I just like jump down there? Yeah, I can. All right, hey, buddy. Now that we've got a little more, na uh, had that little nature hike, it's time to get to work. I've got a little theory about you, and uh, I want to test it out. If it really, if I really did choose the right person for the job, I think there's more to you than you realize. Best see for yourself. The pile of crystals over there. Get up close. Attune your mind on make on waking them. See what happens. Yeah, because I know what that means. Let's go and uh, focus. Attune my mind. Vegetable people. Thanks for the stick. Okay, a wobbly stick. Pick it up. I got a melee weapon now. Boink. All right. Who wants some? I got a stick. Mailbox, eh? The depot. Oh yeah, my bank. Of course, of course it is. All right, so we can go walk around and smack some things with this with this guy. Uh, already did. Thanks game. Okay. There he is again. The evil vegetable eater. Just destroy him. All right. Good thing I'm not a vegetarian. Get back here. Take that. And more of that. And more of that. What do you think, Crow? Did I did I did I slaughter them okay? You've met our esteemed allies, the Drakes, and vanquished the pack of pesky feral. Not too bad, kid. The Drakes are a uh, compa companionable lot. Kind souls. Fortunately, they've had a rough go. Ain't what they used to be. Invaders, those terminers the note mentioned, made a real mess of things. So they're a little skittish around newcomers with a penchant for brawling. You're gonna need to go do some legwork and earn their trust. The drakes are plenty hungry and thirsty, hibernating so long. Unfortunately, the land's no good. Everything that comes from the ground is blighted, inedible. You're gonna need something to cleanse things for them to eat. You look like uh, the crafty sort, though. Remember that attunement business with the crystals? They're right there's your gift. That right there's your gift. With a little focus, you can let the drakes know what you need built, and they'll hop to it. Essentially, they're like my villagers of my town that I'm going to be making here. Gather up some lum lumber and create a cleansing cauldron. Check back with me once you uh, once it's built. I'll tell you how to use it. Take a couple glowstone shards. Get you started. Okay. Take this healing salve. Only one I got, but if you're going to be scrapping with those grunts, you're going to need it. You'll learn how to make more soon enough. Okay. Okay. Thanks, buddy. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. Um, let's go build something. So we got to chop a tree. And... Um, you thought the stick was mighty? Well, it's mightier than you think. See this? See this tree? Whack! It's a mighty stick. <laughs> and I, I, I got another one. Twigs. Pick up this guy over here. We need five lumber. 
Let me yeah, pick some things up over here. I think pretty much everything in this game is is breakable. There's like there's little buildings around here. There's a lot of stuff in the game. There's a lot of uh, pretty big, a pretty big map. I'll show all this stuff off here. We've got several different islands. We'll eventually be making our way to, I guess. And each of these are sort of different. You know, run over, run. Down. You can see the roads and, and sort of the um, apocalyptic sort of thing. And it's pretty massive. Um, we got my bag. We've got a camp, which nothing has just yet. And my log, of course, and my outfit. Oh, I can change. I can just change on the go. Oh, nice. Very nice. All right. No, we can't break that. Let's go break some things though, and uh, chop some trees. Oh, who's that? Oh, hey. Hey, buddy. That's the tra the trader bird. Hello, welcome to the world of wonder that is Magpie's Emporium. We've got shiny objects. I'm exactly the sort of cultured aficionado that you should be speaking with. I can tell from a quick look that you're also a person of refined taste. We shall get along famously, I imagine. Browse around, inspect the wares. He likes shinier objects. Okay, new stuff every morning. What you got? Well, I got some twigs. You got uh, you got some juice boxes, though. Some cabbage seeds, some carrot seeds, some duct tape. All right, all right. I can always go for a juice box. But you know what? This tree looked at me funny, and I'm going to break it. Pick up some stuff here. And one more lumber. Sorry, tree. There we go. Pick up all those. And uh, that guy and that guy. Okay, so let's go build ourselves a cauldron. Let's run over this way. Building mode is in C. All right, so... Uh, you can build from uh, structures here in the, the crafting menu. So we can go and uh, let's go with that guy and rotate with a shift, shift, and a, yep, yep, yep. Something like right over there. Hey, buddy. He's going to make his very own stew pot. This onion. Mm, he's a strange onion. But there we go. We got to do ourselves a cleansing cauldron. All right. New quest. Hello, crow. I did it. What do you say? Nice work, kid. I knew you had it in you. Most part, uh, most important part, he's using the cauldron. Need to investigate the island a bit for a couple things. Juice boxes and bane berries. I need four of each. Okay, toss them in there when we got them. When the berries and juice we cleanse, the drakes can chow down. Knowing they got a meal uh, and wa uh, waiting, you should uh, show them you're not looking to do them any harm. Okay. So this, what you're saying is make a nice broth for these veggies to come out. And, and <laughs> okay, pick up some bane berries here. I need some juice boxes. Um... We can buy them from that, uh, that the magpie, or we can also just go out here and find... Wait, I think the water is bad news. Yeah, water is bad news. Stay away from the water. Water is bad news. Bad water. Okay, let's jump over here. I think I saw... Let's go get this car here and whack it up a little bit. Take that car. We got some uh, upholstery scrap, and we got a juice box! Okay, okay, okay. We got some cattails here. Pick those guys up. And something, a toilet we can break here. They tell me there's not a juice box in there. Okay, just an arrow and uh, some scrap. I ain't eating toilet juice boxes. So like a little house here. There's a lighthouse up that way. Um, there's a spooky house around here somewhere. There it is. Up that way, there's a big spooky house. Let's break some things. Big house. Full of bullets, shoelaces, juice boxes. So we got, we got all four of them. Oh, yeah, there was three of them in that one spot. Nice. Uh, while well, we're here, though, you know, watch out for those uh, those scary guys. But I think we just go in here and start picking some things up. We got a, it looks like a bag. Not anymore. A ski pole it was. Break the windows. Ooh, a note. From liminal transgressions. Oh, no, from Noble Mason. Herein lies the account of events which plagued the goodly folk of our fair, fair town. I, Noble Mason, duly appointed head of the Terminal Court, acted to halt the aggravation of, of the invisible world upon our populace, and in so doing encountered witchery most foul. Okay. Take that, Windows. All right, um, we got our stuff, so let's go make our way back, back home, I guess. Which was, I think, nope, not this way. Back down here. And and we'll go get that thing built. There it is. 
pick some things up along the way. Uh, or not. Nothing else along the way. So let's go. Yeah, yeah, here we go. And let's talk with, uh, just toss him in the, in the cauldron. Sure, sure. Let's stock it. There you go, buddy. See, I, I can be trusted. Oh, the vein bear. I just took the whole bush and put it in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. See? You can trust me. I'm just, I'm just fattening you up. I found a crevice. A woodcutter. And there he goes. Got some camp experience. And off he goes to go do some jobs. He's going to go out and just basically just get resources for me. As is uh, old Jemmet, which I didn't see there. Okay, our, our uh, Drake supplies. We have to keep our Drakes, like, you know, maintained, basically. They want food, water, and entertainment. Water, of course, is going down. Uh, we don't have any yet. But we got the other two. I think the crow's going to tell us about this. So there he goes. He's, he's grabbing, like, a berry, and he's going to go toss it in the stock. There he goes. And there goes this guy. He's a little lost. But they'll toss things in there and sort of uh, just go out into the world and, and, you know, do little jobs for us. Hey, buddy. Drakes weren't always like this. The hearts were the, were the same, but their minds aren't. Not since the Terminator came along and twisted the magic of this place to their will. With your help, we can restore the Drakes. Even send you home once they get their magic back. But before we are off to save the world, we better finish tending to the Drakes' basic needs. They don't need food, just food and water. They're going to need some place to sleep. Also, these folks can literally die of boredom. You've proven to be pretty crafty. I think you can help them with sleeping spots and entertainment. Why don't you try building the Drakes a couple of thatched beds and poppets? You can get everything you need from thatched beds, from trees, everything you need for it for the trees, and the poppets are from cattails and upholstery. Okay, I think I'll actually have this. Do I have the stuff for it? I think I might. Uh, thatched beds uh, and poppets around to keep them from dying of boredom, boredom, and of course the place to sleep. Okay. So I probably have the stuff for it. Let's go put it on this side, I guess. Uh, we'll put it back over here. Excuse me, buddy. Uh, oh yeah, we got to interact with these guys and they give us some charms. So we can go in and build stuff like this. It takes five charms, for instance. I have the supplies with no charms, but we can chat with them. Like you. Hey, buddy. Slow down. Hello. Fourteen charms collected. Thanks. Have yourself... Oh yeah, I'll take a, I'll take a buff. Okay, thanks. Thanks. Where's your friend? Oh, hey. He is. Hello. Critical strike trees and brambles. Can I have both these? Oh, no. No, no, no. We'll, we'll keep we'll keep Lucky on there. All right. There we go. You got some charms. Let's get you guys. You know what? You're so kind. I'll make you a bed and a poppet. Here you go. Have a, have a poppet. Uh, what was it? There we go. One poppet. I need some more cattails for that. Uh, in the beds, I have the stuff for the beds, so let's set the beds over here by, um... Oh, no, right here is fine. I need more leaf bundles. So I've chucked some trees down, and we're going to find uh, another cattail for that guy. So let me whack this tree real quick with my nice stick that I have. Which does have a durability. But, I gotta say, it's far more durable than I would have ever, ever imagined. Does that give me some leaf, bit, leaf uh, stuff? getting dark outside. Let me whack this one here since it's... I don't like it. There we go. Take that. Uh, let's go grab some cattails. Which are all along the river here somewhere. There's a... Oh, 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 oh! I forgot. There's water. Water bad. Uh, <laughs> let's go this way. <laughs> okay, there's some cattails on the other side also. There we go. Pack a couple of these guys. We'll grab, we'll grab this bunch over here too before we, before we go to the other side. Okay, run over this way. Back to our, our, our little hovel. Can I jump out, you think? Yeah, I can. Okay. Oh, look, he's sleeping in the little bed. Oh, man. Here you go. Have a, have a buddy bed. And then I'm going to give you a, a puppet. Yeah, wake up. Get to work. Curio crafting, ether wards, waypoints, healing salves. Yeah, we need all that stuff eventually. And there they, they got him. Look, he's hard at work. Nope, he's sleeping. He's sleeping with his with his berries. Hey crow, what you got for me? Look at that. Grow up so fast. 
So you may realize supplies on this hand are, uh, island are a bit limited. So with that situation, as you may have figured out, you're a little trapped on this island. Fear not, as you also may not, may have surmised, there is an unfixable, that isn't an unfixable situation. Like most problems in the hollow, you can build your way out of this one. Take this schematic. Unlock the ancient arcane art of building a curio workshop. Go ahead, build one. Okay. Got some glowstone shards. There's my my schematic. Which we find these things are sort of... I think we find schematics also like sort of laying out in the world. Um, there's a toilet over there. Oh, if it drop, don't drop your juice box. Don't drop your juice box. Scraps, scraps, and arrows. Okay. So let's make ourselves a little curio thing. I need, I need, oh, I need a couple more charms. I have to talk with these guys. Hey, wake up! Give me the goods. Six charms, I'll take them. Okay. Thanks, buddy. Bye, sleep. Okay. Over here now, we're gonna go and craft up a, uh, yeah, one of those. Cra uh, yep, unlock it, and we're gonna pop it in right, uh, let's do like a... Look at that. Here we go. Okay. Hey, wake up! Get to work! Okay. So that'll get that thing built. Let's go, um, before we end this video, let's go just check out that house up there. We got that job done. That lets us build those little curio things that we saw a minute ago. But, uh, in the interest of exploring some things, let's go take a look at what's going on around here. Workshop is done. Here's the house. And, um, almost like Fortnite looking. We can come in here and, and break some stuff and pick up all kinds of things. A house full, an aluminum slugger. I do want that. Yes, please. I will equip that uh, as my... There we go. What is that? A ski oh, a ski pole. I didn't realize that was what that was. This thing's got some, got some reach. Yeah. Go. The next quest I think takes us either here or to the uh, the lighthouse, um, which is a similar kind of thing. It's got all kinds of stuff. Look at all those juice boxes in there. I'm sure it's. I'm sure that the juice, juice is still good. Break everything in this house. And just pick up all kinds of stuff and get some some building going on. Uh, more uh, more veggie monsters will come out eventually, and we can um, we can you know befriend them and, and enter our our village. And I believe, I haven't got to that point yet, but we have all these different islands. I think we're going to be in different like, different little villages on each of those islands, I think. Not 100% sure, though. But anyway, this is Drake Hollow. It is available on Steam. It's been there since the, since the first. And I'll have links, of course, below. And you can check it out. Thanks for watching. Thanks again, uh, Molasses Flood. And I will see you next time.